Sleeping Beauty Syndrome, or Clean Levin Hibernation Syndrome. Teenagers sleeping for up to 20 hours per day may have Clean Levin Syndrome. Clean Levin Syndrome is a rare disorder, affecting adolescents and young adults, characterized by recurrent episodes of excessive sleep, hypersomnia, along with cognitive and behavioral changes. It is more common in males than in females, but it can affect females as well. An episode may start abruptly and is sometimes preceded by an upper respiratory type infection. Fevers, muscle aches, and hypophagia can accompany the episodes. It is characterized by bouts of excessive sleepiness that last for weeks or months. Other behaviors that can occur during the episodes include moodiness, confusion, hallucinations, excessive food intake, hypophagia, irritability, childishness, disorientation, and an abnormally uninhibited sexual behavior. Episodes of Clean Levin Syndrome may last for several weeks or months and the condition resolves on its own without treatment. Episodes may recur several times throughout adolescence, and teenagers may have completely normal behavior and sleep patterns in between episodes, and the time between episodes varies. Episodes tend to decrease with advancing age. It is not associated with between episodes psychiatric problems, psychosis, behavioral problems, personality disorders, or drug use. It is a clinical diagnosis because there is no diagnostic test to identify or confirm Clean Levin syndrome. It has been postulated to be triggered by a viral illness or hormonal dysfunction. Because of the symptoms, it may be mistaken for temporal lobe epilepsy. Although electroencephalography is normal, which helps to distinguish the two conditions. The polysomnogram shows decreased sleep efficiency with frequent waking from stage 2 sleep, normal sleep architecture, and an absence of shortened sleep latency or early REM sleep. These findings may occur with some other causes of adolescent and young adult hypersomnia, such as sleep deprivation or narcolepsy. Standard imaging tests are normal but functional MRI may show hypoperfusion and altered glucose metabolism in the temporoparietal and thalamic regions. Decreased connectivity between frontal eye fields and areas of the bonds involved in REM sleep has been observed on functional MRI, but the clinical significance of this finding is not clear. Lithium, valproic acid, and corticosteroids have been tried with some symptomatic improvement, but many patients do not respond to treatment. Clean Levin syndrome has a reasonably good prognosis, with individual episodes spontaneously resolving, and a decrease in or complete discontinuation of further episodes during adulthood. Nevertheless, the illness has a substantial impact on quality of life, possibly affecting schoolwork, social life, and participation in normal teenage activities. Support for families, including educating parents and the patient about potential complications such as hallucinations and emotional instability, can help in coping. Thank you.